Hey everyone, thanks for trying to learn to play games. My name is Lance and today I'll be unboxing Street Fighter, the miniatures game. This is a brand new one from Jazz Co. Games. It is a two to six player game and takes roughly half an hour to an hour to play depending upon the number of players and is a competitive fighting game obviously based on the video game franchise. So in this video I'll be unboxing the game. I did not go all in on the Kickstarter. I got the main game, the boss pack, and the stretch goals, but I didn't get any of the character packs as there was a ton of those that you could have picked up as well. But I just wanted to start off and see how the game was first and how the miniatures came out and they are beautiful i will have a full 360 degree turn of all of the miniatures included in these boxes for your viewing pleasure and so with this one as always if you find these videos helpful if you like what i do please consider that like button and subscribe to my channel it's one of the easiest ways you can help support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and produce this content. Also, let me know in the comments down below if there's any other videos that you want to see around this, whether they're playthroughs or teaching videos or whatnot. I'm very interested to see what everyone is interested in seeing from these. So let's go ahead and head to the table. We'll find out what's in these boxes. Sonic Boom! All right, so let's get into the box. So first off, we have the rule book, and I did go ahead and organize a lot of this, and I also put a lot of the different 3D models together. So with the rule book, this is a fairly hefty one. It's 31 pages, but we have a really nice breakdown, it looks like, of a lot of the different things. There's the components. We have the versus mode, attack sequence, all the different types of attacks and movement cards, train types, and it goes into all the different features. And we have multiplayer and team mode, power-up mode and free-for-all mode, team mode, classic arcade mode, three-on-three -three mode. So there's all kinds of different modes and ways that players can play. We have uh, some game variants and designer notes, glossary, stage diagrams, and the assembly guide for all of the different 3D models that are included in this. So nice, looks like a good full rule book. Then with the different models and stuff, we have the player boards for the different fighters. And we have the models themselves. So I did take these out of, they do come in a clear plastic container that you can store them in, but they are, it was really tight and some of these models were bending in that. So I didn't want to snap them off. So I will probably put uh, some foam in here to pad these models off, but they are absolutely beautiful. So first off we have Ken and Ryu, Vega. So cool. And they got great poses with these and the coloring on these is really good. They, it came out really well. It's obviously not as good as somebody could paint them per se, but they look great for just finished models like this. Very, very cool. Chung Li, Zangief, and Saget. Oop. From there, then we have all the different tokens and that's for the players and the 3D train, so we have cherry blossom trees, and these are two parts, you just slide them together to be able to assemble them. We have the different boxes, and I would probably recommend gluing these because they, they, they do go together enough where they will stay, but dropping them around or moving them around at all, they will fall apart on you fairly easily. And we have the boom box. And these different, I don't know if these are boulders. We have all the different boxes, different size boxes. And the dice. The dice are really cool. These are kind of marbleized dice, black and red. And they have a number of different symbols on them, including fists and shields. And then the flame symbols, which I'm not sure what those are just yet. Always cool. My friend's not going to be happy with those. He hates red dice. And those are, at least there's a little bit of something else in there with those. We have a couple of lights and the missile transports, which are really cool. And these were pretty easy to put together. They snap together pretty, pretty easily. And then finally the cards. So each player will have their own deck of cards. And with these, again, they're broken down per player and each player has a pretty decent size deck and these have got some really cool imprints on the back there's uh, some texturing to it and that they really came out nice 
with the back of these. The card stock itself, I was very disappointed in, especially the manufacturing of these. The manufacturer, when they press these or cut these, there's a lip on the edge of these, which is really rough. I will definitely be sleeving these because these cards just do not feel good in the hands with that. So that was one part I was a little disappointed in. But other than that, the cards, the art on them, everything, the layout is that is beautiful. And they have all the different moves from the different players on these. So all those different things that you're used to with your player, however you play them, they have all of the cool different things, body slams and brain buster, spinning pile driver, all kinds of cool stuff. And so each one of the players has their own deck of cards. And then finally we have the board itself. So let me pop this out real quick. This is a large board. So on one side we have the outdoor area and on the other side the military base with the fighter jet and all the missiles and all that that the players are going to interact with. Next I have the boss expansion. So this is going to add boss enemies to the game. And again, this one I did um, take all the stuff out already and punch stuff together. So we have the trees. These are really cool. They have all the little lanterns on them and there's a whole set of these as well. There's also some tables for you to bust up and more rocks. We have like a little food cart, which is really cool. That was fun to put together and a couple more of the boxes or cages for the chickens. Then we have the boss cards to keep track of their different stats, their hit points, and the different cards in that that they're going to play. And we have two of the different bosses included, Akima and Mbison. And these guys are really cool. Each one of them has a number of different decks included with this one. There is the boss challenge deck and then the boss cards. And then we also have all of these different cards for them. So there's a bunch of stuff for these guys. We have another rule book. So this is, this is going to show you how to use the bosses. So we have their components and the boss mode game components. Nemesis mode and the stage diagrams and then the assembly guide for all the different 3D terrain that you have. And then this lists the expanding your game with all of the different character packs. And again, these were ones that I did not get. And then finally we have the board, game board itself. So again, the artwork on these is really nice and they definitely go with the, the game. So we have the cobblestone streets, old town, and all the rocks and the statues and all that out in the woods. And finally, the stretch goal box. And this comes with a ton of new characters. This will complete off all the characters in the base game. As far as I can remember, I only played back uh, the Genesis version way back in the day. So a lot of the new characters in that I'm not familiar with, but we get a really cool Street Fighter II arcade unit, which is really neat. And we have a trophy for the Street Fighters and all the new, all the different characters. So I know some of these, yeah, such as Guile and E Honda. We have Cami and Belrog. Let's see what else we have in here Blanca and Lee, T Hawk. And I can't remember his name. And then it looks like we have a female M. Bison. And then we have the corrupt Ryu and Ken and TJ. And I can't, I do not know his name. So tons and tons and tons of new characters. And we have a dial for him. So he, look, he might be a boss you go up against. We have a small board for the, looks like a destroyed, the destroyed car, so that's really cool. 
and all the different cards. So we have decks for Evil Ryu, T Hawk, E Honda, Belrog, and Violent Ken. And then there's a small boss challenge deck. And then Guile, Blanca. Oh, there it is. Guken and Kami. And then Lee, uh, Fei Long, Guken and Nelson and DJ. So, and then there's the car in the challenge stages, which I remember busting up like heck. So this has the full car in it as well and there's all the there they are all the different tiles for the car and these are double-sided so on one side is the busted up car and on the other side we have the, the brand new car so you get all of those tiles and underneath that is another new game board this is just a small one so this has the one side, so it may be a head-to-head -head type of, of game, or for two players, just straight up combat battles. Well, that's everything included in the boxes. I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see any other videos along this game, whether it's a playthrough or some teaching video or anything else that you would like to see around this. I love starting conversations and hearing from you guys. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it and I take into account everything you say to make the best possible videos. And until next time, I'll see you later.